So last week, um, working on a project, I needed to create some PDFs of my drawings. I realized I got a frame on my uh, PDF. I had to manually go into each of my drawings and make sure the frame of my image uh, was off by using the frame command and turn it to zero. You can imagine all of the tedious process if you have dozens of drawings that you need to um, create your PDFs, right? What I'm gonna do is um, use a file called ACAT doc in a folder uh, any folder that you want we can uh, create a acat doc folder here we're gonna um, use this file so autocad can um, activate it whenever we open a drawing so the way we're gonna create it is we're gonna right click on it and say new and then text document so once i have that document i'm gonna simply open it by double clicking on it and what we want to do is save this file as a lisp file or a cat doc lisp file the way i'm going to do it is uh, going to file save as and i'm going to call this a cat doc i'm gonna uh, change the type over here it says all files and I'm gonna say dot LSP uh, for a Lisp um, extension and I'm gonna click save so you can see now if I close this uh, you're gonna see that I successfully created a auto Lisp application source so I don't need this other file anymore. I'm gonna erase it. Now, um, let's open this up by double clicking on it. We can say to AutoCAD, hey AutoCAD, I want, I want you to um, set the system variable. In this case, I'm gonna open and close a parenthesis so that way we get inside uh, this and say set bar so meaning we're going to set a variable right in this case a system variable and what was the name that we use uh, or the system variable was frame correct to turn our images frame off and this needs to be uh, in quotes like so and finally we're going to press enter or space and we want to set this variable but what value do we need this variable to be on well here uh, we can understand some of the descriptions uh, now this is all up to you if you want always your image frames to be off or not visible we can set it to zero or if you want uh, to display the frame but not the plot frame we can set it to two so that way uh, we can tell AutoCAD every time we open a drawing we want these image frames to be off now it's also nice to have um, like a quick description of what is this, right? So I'm gonna use this semicolon to add a short description, for instance. So once we have that, I'm gonna close and save the changes, of course. All right, so we can, uh, we can check now that when we open this, we have some instructions to AutoCAD. So let me close that out now. 
Now, the next step in order for this to work is um, we need to add this file uh, to the AutoCAD um, to the AutoCAD background. Um, so the way we do it is by using our options um, and going to the files and support file search path. So over here, we're gonna add and browse this ACAD doc file that we just created. It's right here, ACAD doc. So that's the folder where I have stored my ACAD doc Lisp file. I'm gonna click open and then I went ahead apply and click. So you can see now that uh, let's do a, a preview of this really quick. So we have the frame right there, as you can see for the image. So let me close. Uh, AutoCAD completely. So let's open the drawing again. Right. So as you can see, AutoCAD, it's uh, giving you this message now. Now, um, this will only show uh, the first time. Once we click always load, um, we're gonna see, and if we do a preview, you're gonna notice that again, AutoCAD, it's already running this ACAT doc Lisp file on the background for us. So we'll never have to worry about setting up this again. Another uh, example uh, that I think it's a good use of this technique is if we, uh, draw a dimension right now, right? A dimension really quick, like so. We're gonna see that our dimension comes on the wrong layer, A elevation text, that's not right. Um, so uh, the problem is, again, that when we go to uh, set a current layer for our dimensions over here, Let's say we set it to dimensions, of course, <laughs> right? So, of course, if we draw a dimension now, it will come on that correct layer, which is great. The problem is that once you go to a different drawing and draw a dimension, your dimension again will come on the wrong layer. <laughs> But now that you learn a new technique, you can quickly go to your ACAT doc file and simply copy this really quick with Control C, go ahead and paste it with Control V. And in, in this case, for the layer of my dimension, I can simply say set bar. And I can say dim layer because that's the system variable to set a layer for your dimensions. And in this case, I can say, mm, you know, your layer. For instance, my layer would be, let's say, dimension. Dimension one, of course, I want to save this, right? And then I can close it. Now that we set this up really quick, look what's gonna happen. Even if I open a different drawing, let's open this one. So this is again a third drawing now. You're gonna see that when we draw our dimensions, it will come on the correct layer always so you never have to worry ever again on setting up your layers for your dimensions <laughs> isn't that great guys let me know in the comments uh, what are the system variables that you are planning to implement 